Hello riders, today we're going to be talking about how to assemble your Doheny Enzo from the box to a fully built e-bike. You're going to start by removing a small box of pegs which you'll find in the middle of the bike. You'll then have to cut any zip ties necessary to take out your front tire. Your next step is to take your e-bike out of the box. Now mind you, this is close to a 90 pound e-bike. If you have someone else who can help you take the bike out of the box, I would recommend doing so. After you've taken the bike out of the box, you wanna see if you can locate the front tire skewer, which will either be in the middle of the frame when you took out the bike, or it'll be somewhere left in the box. You then wanna take your front tire and remove any plastic pieces on either side of the tire. You then wanna take your tire skewer, making sure one spring is on one end, insert it into your tire. Then you want to take the opposite spring, make sure it's facing towards the tire, insert it, then place your plastic cap on top. You then want to take your front fork and your tire. You want to remove any packaging from your front fork. You then want to place your front tire on your front fork, making sure that the brake disc side is on the left hand side. You then want to make sure that both ends of the front tire skewer are placed properly. Once this is done, you want to tighten your front tire skewer until your front tire is securely tightened onto your fork. You then want to remove any remaining packaging on your e-bike. You then want to take a six millimeter Allen wrench and remove the four bolts on the front headset. You then want to place your handlebars where this headset is, then place the clamp on top of your handlebars and then securely tighten the four bolts. You then want to take your 5mm Allen wrench, straddle your front tire, and make sure that the handlebars are facing straight. You then want to tighten the two bolts behind your handlebar headset. You then want to take your two pedals. One is designed to go on the right hand side. This pedal you will turn clockwise. The other is designed to go on the left hand side. This pedal you will turn counterclockwise. You then want to take your 5mm Allen wrench and a 10mm wrench. You want to loosen the nut on the front fork screw. You then want to place your headlight and your front fender onto the bike. Then you want to take the nut that you just removed and you want to securely tighten the headlight and the front fender onto the bike with those same two tools. You then want to take your 4mm Allen wrench and your 8mm wrench. You want to remove the fender nut and bolt. You then want to place the fender strut or the fender hanger over the fender strut and you want to securely tighten it and you want to do this on both sides. Now you're going to want to take your 4mm Allen wrench to install your foot pegs. You can either remove the bolts on the higher side, higher set of bolts, or you can remove the lower set of bolts. You then want to make sure that the foot peg is facing upward towards the sky and this is how you're going to install it on both sides. We will then move to the handlebars. You're going to need a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench and a three millimeter Allen wrench. You're going to want to remove the bolt on the display screen module. This will allow you to move it over and then you'll be able to move your headlight, your horns, and your blinkers over to the right hand side and put this module on the left hand side so you, that you can use it accurately. You then may notice there's a green connector unplugged. This connector is for your display screen. What you're going to want to do to fix this issue is unravel the plastic wrapping around the cords and connectors. You're then going to want to plug in this connector and you're going to want to leave it out of the plastic wrapping. That way it sits freely. Now if you don't like the thumb throttle on the left hand side of the bike and you want to install onto the right hand side, all you have to do is simply unplug the throttle connector, which is an orange connector. You then want to take your 3mm Allen wrench and you want to remove the bolts on the handlebar grip. This way it'll be able to slide out. You then want to take your 3mm Allen wrench and you want to loosen the bolt on the throttle. This will also allow you to slide it out. You're then going to want to unravel the plastic wrapping once you place your thumb throttle on your right hand side, just to make sure that the thumb throttle connector fits in firmly and it's also secured um, in that plastic wrapping.
you may need to do some extra loosening and tightening of bolts that way that the handlebar grip is properly seated on the handlebar and everything sits nicely. Your last step is to check the tire pressure on your tire. If you've had the tan inserts installed, you want the tire pressure to be between 15 and 20. Other than that, you want the tire pressure to be between 25 and 30. 